So in the last lesson, we learned how to manually add a simple product. And now in this video, what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and circle back through and add variations. So I've got different shirt colors and text colors that I want to add to this single product. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and come back into my product here. And we have the best things in life t-shirt and we have all of the description and the title all set up. We've added it to different collections, but now what we wanna do is add different color variations. So one thing we're going to do, and one thing you could do before we get too far down the road, you can add images here. And let's just say we added, you know, the red shirt and I'll go ahead and click open. And let's go ahead and click on the view button. And you'll see that I have two product photos. Well, now the problem is if I do it that way, you can see real quick, there is no button to actually change size or color. So at this point, this would be more handy if you had photos of the front and the back or multiple photos of the same single product. So what we wanna do is come back into this product and we wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says variants. So we're going to add a variant of this product because it has multiple versions like sizes or colors. So we'll click on the add variant bu button and we'll come over here and on the size by default Shopify assumes when you add a variant it's going to be the size so you could change the title of this but for right now we're just going to create a small medium large let's do x large and xx large so you can title these whatever you wanted to maybe it's just xxl or whatever however whatever makes sense uh, to you it doesn't really matter too much so we've got those in there and i was just hitting comma after i typed out those words to separate those now what i'm going to do is actually add another option so in this one we've got color so let me look at my colors i have here i have blue i have red i have white with red text i have white with blue text it's almost black dark dark blue and then we have the black shirt so where it's gonna get a little tricky is describing where we've got two different white versions with different text so let's just kind of see what we can do here so we're gonna separate with comma so I'm gonna say blue actually I want to make those title case so I'm going to retype that B L U E capital B we're gonna have a red version we're going to have a white hmm I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. So let me just think about that. So we got blue, red, white, black. I think for the sake of this tutorial and not confusing you or myself, I'm going to just do one of these versions. And uh, I think I like this blue version better. So I'm just going to delete this red version in my folder so I don't even confuse myself. There we go. That makes more sense. All right. Now what we're going to do is when you add a variant, you can see that you can come down at at a variant level so let's say the blue small shirts let's say pricing you wanted to change them because there's less material and let's say on the double XL shirts maybe you want to make them more expensive because they cost you more so you can actually go down and drill down into each variant and control exactly how much they cost or leave them all the same also over here you'll notice inventory so we can control inventory on a per product level what else is really cool, I'm gonna go ahead and click save, is we can add different images for each variant. So let's go ahead and let this finish saving here for a second, and then I'm gonna come in, once I save, I've got these little thumbnail options. So if I wanna have the blue color represented by a blue shirt, actually, let's see if we can uh, speed things up a little bit. I'm gonna add an image. We'll add the blue shirt in there. I'm going to add an image, we'll throw the, uh, the white one in there. Alright, so now all those are up in the gallery for this product and now I can just simply click on it. Alright, so this was the blue one, we'll click save. So now what I'm going to do is just continue on and adding a variant image for each one of these. And you don't have to. It's just really handy. Let me show you what I mean when we save this image here. If I were to come back to view the product, it's really nice to know that if somebody chooses a red color shirt or a blue color shirt, the product image automatically updates. Okay. So now let's say I jump to a different size that I haven't updated yet. And I say, you know, the red one. Well, my product image didn't update. And now that can be confusing. So if you're going to go down this path, Make sure you take the time to update every one of them. Otherwise, I would maybe just leave it 
with just the single image and they can kind of figure it out by clicking over here on the side. But uh, that's basically how you would add a variant or a variable product. So it's really straightforward. We have our images added and then we're going to go through and flesh out all of the different variants and all of the different um, details here. So one other thing before we go, if you need to bulk update these, you can click on this little checkbox here to select all variants, or maybe just select, let's say just the blue ones you need to do some sort of a change to maybe the, or maybe, uh, maybe by size here, maybe all the small ones need to be a different price. So I could click on that, click edit variants, and let's just say my smaller ones, we're going to go to the uh, pricing field and change them to, let's just say $12. And then that way you can update all of these. We'll hit save. And now when your visitor is back in the shop and they have a small t-shirt selected, the pricing will actually change too. So if I've got a small here, it shows as $12. If I click on medium, it jumps up to $18. Now, a couple things I wanted to add to this lecture that I forgot when I was actually recording is a couple little things here in the variance menu. So, First and foremost, you can reorder variants. Now, what does that mean? By default, it will go with however you type them into the box. So if I click on this, I had actually rearranged this for the sake of this video, but we started off with small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Now, let's just pretend like we typed out XXL first, and I'll save that here. And you can see to rearrange them, you just drag and drop. When I come back over to my store, when I reload the page, you can see that the drop down menu starts with XXL first and then small, medium, large, extra large. So, you know, it would make more sense that if the first option was actually small, not double XL. So coming back over here, we're gonna reorder my variants. I'm gonna rearrange this so my XXL is the last one in line here. So it starts with small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. We'll click save. We'll come back over to my page and reload. And now we can see when I click on the twirl down, it starts with small and goes and gets bigger as we uh, go through the options here. So that makes more sense based on, you know, what just basic logic, how you would expect that to be. Now, the next thing is we can edit the option. So let's say that we no longer want to offer double XL. I can delete this here and I can click yes, delete, and that'll delete all of the XXL versions. I'm not going to do this right now because I actually took the time to set up all the images down here, but uh, that's how you would remove the option. Let's say we wanted to add a different size here. So right now I'm only in the option to edit the option. So I can basically rearrange these, or I'm sorry, I can basically, you know, delete these, or I can add another option altogether. So for example, you know, material. So maybe one's cotton and one's a 50-50 blend or something. But for right now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on these options here. I'm, gonna, I'm uh, going to add a variant instead. So we'll come over here to add variant. And this is where I can add perhaps another size or another color and then change pricing, whatever I want to do. And it's going to add that into my variant options. So I'm going to go back to product. Those are just a couple little things that I wanted to point out that you can go in to actually manage your variants once you've got them set up. And here you can see that I took the time to go ahead and flesh out the rest of my images now. So when I go back to my store, no matter what size or what color I pick, the color will show up here. The correct product will show up. And the last, all of these I put as zero inventory. So this button shows us sold out instead of having an option to buy. So just go back in, you know, if you've got the products, make sure that each variant here has the inventory in stock. So whatever inventory you have, make sure you have it all set up and you'll be good to go.